Hey everybody, it's Sully Man with Pixel Mosh Pit, and I have a quick tip for you today. It's actually a pretty powerful one. Um, it'll definitely cut down some time in your workflow, um, and there's all sorts of stuff that you can apply this to. Uh, I'm working with my advanced t-shirt mock-up uh, from Mix Pixel Mosh Pit. Um, uh, this kind of contains a whole bunch of t-shirt mock-ups that I use all the time for clients, and when I need to save out real quick, I can just dump in my artwork uh, and you know, pick what I need and save it out. Uh, and I do that using symbols. So I'm going to go ahead and hit tab to toggle back on my tools and panels and what have you. So there's another quick one. Hit tab. Uh, so anyways, uh, I have this basically set up for myself. Uh, this is actually for sale too. Um, wink, wink. Uh, any purchase uh, definitely goes a long way. I do appreciate. But anyways, the artwork layer here has a whole bunch of symbols that I've set. So basically what I do is I create a symbol and then I place those symbols where I need them. So uh, yeah, you'll see in the symbols panel I have it labeled artwork front, artwork back, artwork sleeve, and those correspond to the locations that I've placed the symbols. So I drag in my artwork when I'm initially setting up the template. I label what it is and then I put it where it needs to be. Uh, so once I have that done and basically you know it's saved ready for me to use whenever, um, I just grab whatever artwork I need to place in and get ready for the client and then I save it out. So um, I have this selected uh, already but this is the skull um, on a future tutorial I'm going to be releasing here shortly to show you guys how to uh, learn how I detail ink stuff like this. Um, it'll be pretty comprehensive so stay tuned for that but I'm going to go ahead and select the skull. I'm going to hit copy. Uh, now what I'm going to do is head over here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and paste it in for, for uh, the moment. Um, with mock-ups, you're always going to tweak a little bit um, to kind of match the taste of the mock-up or whatever it is that you're doing. So just keep that in mind. Um, I know on this specific uh, template, the, I, if I want these blacks to show up, the shading on the artwork, I know I need to knock the white down and uh, knock the black up as far as the value. So I'm going to select using my magic wand. Uh, make sure I, I can set the tolerance. I'll set it to one, which will uh, only select one color. I'm going to select black, double click it, and I'm going to you know, raise it up in value a little bit. That looks pretty good. I'm going to do the same with white, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and drop this in value just a little bit. And that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and click it again, hit Control C to copy, or Control X to cut it. I'm going to zoom out and let's uh, head over to, let's go artwork front. I'm going to double click the symbol, which will allow me to edit the symbol. Um, and within this template, I basically have some layers, some are hidden. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the, the hidden locked one. I don't want to mess with it, that's why I keep it locked. Um, and then basically all I do is control V to paste in the artwork. And I have a box that I can use to resize the artwork. I want to kind of keep it centered, I'm not worried about it, I can always tweak it on the other end, but uh, just resize it within the box. I can turn off the other artwork I have in there. Uh, don't worry about the artboards. I know it looks a little strange. Uh, you can control shift H to toggle it off if it makes you so uncomfortable. Uh, but uh, don't worry about it. It's not going to affect your artwork in any way. So once you're done, um, you can basically double click or just hit the back arrow to exit symbol editing. And you know, in a flash, it's updated all those symbols. And it'll keep doing that unless you break the symbol. Uh, but uh, yeah, you can see, uh, like with this template I have, this is like a little textured version to kind of show what the print might look like. Uh, and you can see I got the, the texture overlaid on there. And you see it's, it's updated here, it's updated on the front of the shirt. You can see, you know, where the, uh, the you know, the fold of this shirt goes into the, the uh, skull nose there and kind of folds over. Um, you know, it's kind of applied it's, uh, that everywhere you can you see over here this back piece where it's kind of tucking over the, the red of that sneaker. You can see the folds. And if I want to change that too to a skull, you can head right back in. Go to artwork back. Let's double click that. You'll see the section I have. There's a little hidden area I keep myself. Um, if you need to see, there's some white here. Control Shift D will toggle the background up. You can see that it's there. Take paste. Resize it down. I know that uh, this is kind of where the top collar is, so I'll just kind of size my skull to kind of match that size, and then turn off the stuff I don't need. Turn my background back on, Control Shift D, exit out of the symbol, 
and you'll see it's it's updated. Again, it's kind of tiny, but you know, that's the power of vector stuff. But anyways, um, it's updated. So you know, that's the uh, power of symbols. Now, another quick tip is, say you're working on a file. I'm going to head over here for a second, and l let's say this hasn't been expanded. There's all sorts of paths and stuff like that. You can drop this into your symbol panel and uh, you know use uh, let's go ahead and just do it anyways let's say this is just uh, pretty intense for the computer you got a lot of stuff going on drag and drop it create a symbol let's just put skull it'll turn it into a symbol and it'll actually help uh, your system out a little bit it's not gonna you know really kinda drag with so much detail going on uh, and that any point in time when you're done down here in the symbol panel you can break the symbol which means you know remove the symbol property from it and you're you're back to what your uh, original artwork was uh, so that's the quick tip for today um, and keep in mind like I said this uh, t-shirt this advanced t-shirt uh, mock-up pack is going to be for sale in the pixel mosh pit store um, I hope you guys took something from this today remember to like comment share subscribe that stuff definitely goes a long way as well as the uh, purchases from the Pixel Mosh Pit store. Um, I do want to thank all you guys that have uh, purchased before, um, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Kind of gray, I'm gonna zoom in. Right now these are gray. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the